Not a single public elementary, middle, or high school in all of Colorado teaches critical race theory. And yet it seems to be the only thing some parents want to talk about. And tonight, a Southern Colorado school district will take a step toward banning it. In Douglas County, parents are angry because they think the district's new equity policy is too close to CRT. And it's not hard to see how we got here. High-profile conservatives have put a lot of effort into convincing people the left is trying to brainwash their kids. Colorado Congressman Doug Lambord called it an anti-American ideology rooted in Marxism. Former Vice President Mike Pence said this last month. Critical race theory teaches children as young as kindergarten to be ashamed of their skin color. It represents a full-throated assault aimed at the heart of the American experiment. And it's nothing short of state-sponsored and state-sanctioned racism. Now, this isn't just some political stunt. Oklahoma is so afraid of critical race theory, they not only banned CRT, but to an extent, critical thinking. As the Washington Post reports, the Tulsa massacre will now be taught as something that was simply awful in the moment, rather than an event that reverberated through the generations. So tonight, we are going to attempt to explain critical race theory, and to be sure, this will be the Cliff Notes version. It is too complex to break down in a few minutes, but we will do our best. We'll do our best. And here with a continuation of our in-depth coverage is Denver 7's Megan Lopez. Critical race theory has quickly become a controversial talking point across the country, pitting the left against the right. Proponents say it's about taking a closer look at the country and how we got here. Critics worry it could send kids the wrong message. But first things first, what is critical race theory? Critical race theory is the name given to an approach to studying race and racial power in America. It does take a, a race perspective uh, with the intention of sort of uncovering the places where we're missing that connection. But a focus of critical race theory are all those forms of racial power that remained even after the whites only signs came down. Gary Peller. I became part of this effort in the early 1990s. Is a Georgetown law professor who says the current approach of colorblindness is an inadequate way of achieving racial justice. We have to start telling the truth about American history, not gloss it up with with the fantasy about what America might have been an idealistic cartoon. Others don't believe critical race theory has a place in school curriculum. We just feel very strongly that uh, public education should be a very strong focus on the basics of reading, writing, arithmetic. William Connor from No Left Turn in Education says it's not about denying that racism exists. There is a lot of politics that seem to be getting injected into schools. They're teaching a worldview as fact. Parent Rachel Kofel says she's noticed it's being taught in her son's school without being called CRT, like an assignment to read the book so you want to talk about race. I just felt like, you know, there needs to be more room for balance um, in the classroom. And she believes CRT causes students to overly focus on race as an identity. We do believe there are pro-social ways to do diversity and inclusion. Critical race theory is not being formally taught in Colorado K through 12 schools. It seems like uh, the topic kind of came out of nowhere. But it has become a major talking point. CSU political science professor Dominic Stetsula has been following the trend. It peaked in the last week of June with almost uh, 1,500 stories just that week alone. Much of the coverage is coming from right-leaning media and... It's definitely become a catch-all phrase for a lot of different kind of racially-based grievances. But it is spurring action. District 49 near Colorado Springs is discussing a resolution to ban it. It's becoming more political by the day, and both sides say they feel misunderstood. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. Critical thinking about our nation's past is nothing new, and neither is disagreeing over it. As this Kentucky professor explains, arguing over history is ancient history. This has been around as long as there's been people, you know? <laughs> so, no, it's not a new phenomenon at all. It's, 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 um, it's nothing that we have not been already wrestling with. It has evolved slowly, and that it suddenly becomes a crisis. I, I don't see the crisis. I, I don't see any problem with it. Certainly among, among the, the upper level high school students, I would say, not a problem at all. And many of them come into my class, and they've, they know this. They've been taught it. They're not fanatics. They're not racist. They're not, they're not um, uh, haters of the system. Nobody hates America because of this. If you believe critical race theory puts too much on young students, 
your concerns certainly are valid. If you worry about how instructors will apply the teachings, we get it. And if you're still confused, we really get it. There are a number of well-researched articles out there, including one right now on the DenverChannel.com, as well as books that come highly recommended like Critical Race Theory and Introduction. Don't have a New York Times subscription? Well, maybe uh, I suggest downloading the 1619 podcast for free. And really, there's only so much ground we can cover in one evening. So if there is something you'd like us to talk about in the future or something you particularly agree or disagreed with, let us know. Our email is 360 at thedenverchannel.com.